Now let's talk about the benefits of object-oriented programming. I mean, why object-oriented programming matters that much? Why people talk about object-oriented programming? So what are the benefits? There are a lot, but I am going to mention a few of those. And most probably, uh, if you are in software development, you are definitely familiar with all of those. But if you are new in this sector, um, it will help you to understand why object-oriented programming actually matters. Uh, in software in industry or in software development, um, often people realize to reuse the code, okay, instead of writing a feature from the scratch. So object-oriented programming actually allows you to um, reuse your code, okay? So it gives you the reusability. And again, and um, additionally, it allows your code to be abstract. What uh, what it means by that is, uh, I'm just I'm not gonna go too deep about this um, abstraction thing right in this video because uh, I haven't discussed about the principles yet, so I will be discussing about this later. But just briefly, uh, abstraction allows your codes. To be loosely coupled what it means is that your codes will interact with each other in a manner that that they will uh, one component will not collapse if another component is modified what are what are the components components can be the class components can be the methods so on and so forth so if one part of your application is modified or updated another part will still be function functional okay so this is abstraction in a very basic level so this is another benefit object-oriented pro programming provides so uh, it's easy to refactor the code in object-oriented programming it provides um, uh, stability i mean the object-oriented programming uh, uh, you used or you use in your software development actually it gives you uh, sustainability of your application okay so these are the very few basic uh, advantages of object-oriented programming now let's uh, get one example of uh, the reusability of object-oriented programming that now let's uh, create uh, one function here I get one uh, A getter and setter so I'm gonna remove the setter one from here and I'm gonna create another class which is going to be uh, animal type okay or um, whatever animal type is just fine so here I'm gonna create one function which is going to be uh, string animal type by speed okay which is um, taking in one parameter that's going to be speed and uh, I'm gonna put few validations here if uh, speed is less than 10 um, uh, let's say this this animal this is maybe what are the animal types mammal uh, if I just write in else if speed greater than is equal to 10 and speed less than 50 
we could return this is um, what are the types animal types are there uh, a nocturnal maybe they are even faster um, nocturnal and else return uh, this is bird this is a bird okay so now what we are going to do is going to get back to our execution file and remove this one and here we are gonna print out um, create another instance of type animal type animal type is equal to new animal type so what I'm gonna show you is the reusability of the code okay so animal type dot animal type by speed so here instead of uh, giving our random input or input we provide ourselves we are actually can take it from the animal itself so animal has has the get speed function of what we are gonna calling it here so we are reusing reusing the uh, function of another class in our new implementation so this is very bare basic bare minimum example but this is what actually we can define as a, a reusable code reusability okay so let's run this program and check if it works so actually the animal is slow this animal is a mammal okay so if we just get back and give it uh, maybe 15 or so something so it will show this animal is fast this is a nocturnal okay and I'm not sure if the spelling is correct but anyways if the animal is uh, maybe let's say has a speed 100 uh, so this animal is fast and this is a bird so birds fly faster than any other animals maybe I don't know but the point being uh, code reusability okay so here we can see that this this code is being reused here okay so this is the this is the one of the benefits where where object oriented programming shines okay so thank you for watching